Hey guys, just going to do a quick uh, tutorial on the Amazon Fire Stick and how to set up your Fire Stick. Um, had quite a few people ask me, uh, what do you do to your Fire Stick to make these websites work, uh, to be able to download unknown, untrusted apps on here from the Google Play Store, things like that. And it's actually very simple. There's a lot of people talking about jailbreaking your Fire Stick and all they're basically doing is a few settings and they're adding Kodi. You don't need Kodi anymore because there's so many other sources out there. And I'm going to talk about those a little bit. But let's get to setting up the Amazon Fire Stick. It's a real simple process. This will be a quick video. This is just for beginners or somebody that's new to my channel or subscriber that is struggling, maybe having some trouble uh, maneuvering around certain websites on the Silk browser to watch live sports, live TV, things like that. It's actually a pretty simple process. So let's get to it, guys. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top. Everything you need to do on the Fire Stick to set it up to get the most out of your Amazon Fire Stick is going to be in the settings section right here. So let's go ahead and do it, guys. Let's go over to settings. And there's only two sections you need to worry about. The first section I talk about in my other videos is under My Fire TV. So let's do that first. You're going to go... My Fire TV, scroll down to the developer options. Now, the developer options is going to allow you to download certain apps onto your Fire Stick, okay? It has nothing to do with the live sports that you can watch or um, things like that, but it does for movies, TV, things like that. So let's go ahead and do that. You want both of these to be on, okay? So make sure they're on. It's going to say, are you sure? You say yes. Both of those need to be on. So now you're going to be able to download other apps from the App Store, games, movies, TV shows, all kinds of fun stuff you can download now if you have your developer options set. Now the second thing, and I think the most important thing, especially if you are going to be streaming from uh, the web, whether it's uh, college games, NFL games, UFC fights, anything like that, you need this. Otherwise, you get those pesky pop-ups and you click on them and it takes you to some site that asks for a registration or a credit card number or things like that. and. I guess I wasn't very specific in some of my last videos um, as far as not clicking on those ads. Those are just ads. Those are things that they're going to add. As I bring you more and more channels, more and more um, websites to go to, they only last so long, guys. They constantly change. So it's very important that you subscribe to the channel and set the notification pop-up because I will be doing new videos. As soon as I find out a, a, that a, a site that I provided to you is starting to get pop-ups, I'll do another video with a different site that doesn't. So, but you only be notified if you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button down below. So um, let's go ahead and uh, get into the second thing. I already went into my Fire TV developer options. That's for apps. Now you're gonna go to preferences in the settings still. Hit preferences, you're gonna go to privacy settings. This is very important, guys. See, I have this as a factory setup, which is on, on, on. You do not want your personal data collected. You do not want the App Store to collect information on which apps you're using and downloading, and you do not want interest-based ads on, okay, guys? It's those ads that cause all kinds of problems when you're streaming. So all you need to do is just turn these off. 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 Boom. Now your Fire Stick is jailbroken. It's ready to go. You don't need Kodi. Now you can go to your Silk browsers. You can download some amazing apps like Morpheus or Cinema TV. Um, you can uh, Cinema Free. There's a lot of things you can do now with your Fire Stick. That is the basic setup. I really appreciate you guys checking out my channel and subscribing to me, hitting that thumbs up. It means that what I'm doing is something that you want to see. I'm going to be doing more and more videos this week um, on some things like how to get college football for free, uh, an additional brand new uh, site that gives high definition NFL games, um, which is I actually already did, but I'm in the editing process. I want to make sure I test every quirk because I get a lot of questions like how do you get sound? How do you get um, how do you enlarge the screen? Things like that. Very simple to some people and others, not so much because um, you may not know how to maneuver around a screen with this little thing if you don't have a Bluetooth mouse connected to your Fire Stick. It may be a little more challenging for you. And so I'm going to talk about that as well. So make sure you do hit that notification bell and subscribe. Again, I appreciate you checking out my videos. 
Make sure you check out my other videos. I've got some good ones coming every week, and I've got some ones that I've done in the past that you might like. So uh, thanks again, guys. Bye.